that through Valley Watch, you've been protecting public health and the environment of this lower Ohio Valley. And since this time of creating all these groups and all this vital work you've been doing, uh, John, you've persevered in the fight to keep the polluting industry from locating in our region here. You faithfully fought to improve our air and water quality in this region. So first of all, thank you from the depths of our hearts because you fight these fights and you don't Mm. always win. And I think it would help all of us to hear you share what keeps your passion for activism and organizing strong because you don't always win. Well, yeah, we don't always win, but our record is 35 and four. That is phenomenal. (laughs) Wait a minute. Holy cow. (laughs) That is incredible. Some of the 35 have been very long-term battles. Marble Hill was a a seven-year battle for us. The thoroughbred power plant, which was proposed by Peabody Energy uh, in 2001 when Bush first took office, uh, it was an eight-year fight. Mm. The Indiana gasification plant and that was proposed for Rockport, which mm-hmm. we won. Mm-hmm. We won the thoroughbred plant too, by the way. Uh, the The Indiana gasification plant was also almost an eight year fight, and you know already on the no C two D facility in uh, in Dale, mm-hmm. we're in our fifth year on that. So a lot of these things are really long-term battles that do take perseverance. Mm -hmm. And frankly, that word is what every activist should keep in mind. Because in my experience, perseverance is the only thing that wins, is outlasting the other side. 